ndio tukapata kwamba hiyo condition yake hata ndio ilifanya yule mwanamke mwingine akaji, akajitoa uhai Akotez marriage to a white man named Omosh had seemed like a dream come true. However, recent revelations have exposed on the warnings signs that Akote may have overlooked in her pursuit of love and happiness. Akote in a candid confession has now disclosed that her ex-husband Omosh was battling bipolar disorder, a condition that profoundly affects one's mental state. In this episode, we reveal to you how Omosh's bipolar condition went unnoticed by many, even though the signs were there. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. To gain a better understanding of the situation, it is essential to examine the symptoms associated with bipolar disorder. Individuals grappling with the disorder often experience depressive episodes marked by low energy levels, decreased motivation, and a loss of interest in daily activities. In a startling video obtained by our team, Omosh exhibited precisely these symptoms during his wedding with Akote. As you can see in this video, Omosh seems to be quite happy, dancing while smiling. Then all of a sudden, bipolar kicks in and his countenance changed. You can see he's no longer smiling. And then he drifts away from the celebration and isolates himself, going the other side. And all these were red flags, but nobody noticed them. Another alarming instance that suggested Omosh's bipolar disorder was his persistent falsehoods regarding his previous relationships. He had concealed much of his personal life from the internet, leaving no digital trace of his past. Akote, however, uncovered a dark secret during their courtship. Apparently, Omosh's ex-girlfriend had tragically taken her own life in 2019. Through her investigations, Akote learned that Omosh's actions had pushed his former partner to the brink of suicide. And despite these glaring red flags, Akote proceeded to marry Omosh. I also realized that his girlfriend had committed suicide around 2019 when I read about bipolar and narcissism. This illness doesn't spare its victims, it affects those around them. I investigated and found out that this condition had played a role in her taking her own life, Akote disclosed. Uh, then I also realized that uh, his girlfriend committed suicide in 2019 what is it 2018 kujaribu kujua ndio tukapata kwamba hiyo condition yake hata ndio ilifanya yule mwanamke mwingine akajitoa uhai yet another concerning aspect of the relationship emerged when akotes daughters voiced their reservations about her marriage to omosh According to Akote, her eldest daughter Vesha had observed that Omosh was untrustworthy, unpredictable, and prone to dilutions in his actions. Akote even claims that her own brother had warned her about Omosh's habit of lying. And despite these warnings from her loved ones, Akote proceeded with the marriage. He was a liar. Omosh used to lie to the point that even my brother was surprised. My children figured him out early. Vesha told me that Omosh was delusional. Akote candidly shared in the interview. Mbili yuko sawa, dakika mbili walipuka. Alafu na hizi mauongo uongo yake alikuwa anadika. Omosh alikuwa anasema uongo mama paka uko zile za sasa hii nitaanza na wapi? Ndugu yangu alikuwa anamwangalia akasema he so my children figured him out alia vesha mm. vesha told me mom this guy is delusional mm. your guy is delusional i'm like what do you mean <laughs> i've told you and at the end of the day we are yet to hear from omosh's side of the story and do you still believe akothe's own side of the story that omosh is the one to be blamed that the guy was bipolar and he could not confess this earlier before they got into marriage with Akote. 
Je unamwamini yako te? Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye bye.